You've probably heard whispers about the highly anticipated Model Y Juniper, but let's be honest, details have been about as scarce as a sunny day in Seattle. Meanwhile, what's up with the OG Model Y? Well, it's been a roller coaster of price fluctuations and even production slowdowns, leaving us all scratching our heads. Is Tesla playing some kind of strategic chess game to pave the way for a grand entrance of Juniper in the future? And why can we be so sure about it? Where will this sleek new model be manufactured, and what cutting-edge tech can we expect under the hood? Well, fear not, because all these burning questions are going to be answered in today's video. One, how can we know Model Y Juniper could be behind Tesla's Model Y price hike and production cut? In April 2024, Tesla, the leading electric vehicle manufacturer, made significant price adjustments to its popular Model Y lineup. The price revisions, effective from April 1, 2024, resulted in a $1,000 increase across all trim levels of the Model Y in the United States. Therefore, the new prices for various versions are as follows. Rear wheel driver RWD $44,990, long range $49,990, performance $53,490. The price hike follows a similar pattern observed in March 2024, when Tesla raised prices by an additional $1,000 for both RWD and long range variants of the Model Y. Furthermore, Tesla has also increased prices for its entire Model Y lineup in China. Information on the company's Chinese website indicates that the U.S. electric vehicle manufacturer has raised prices for all three variants of the Model Y in China by an additional 5,000 Chinese yuan, or 690 U.S. dollars. The Model Y is offered in three versions in China, with the price of the rear-wheel drive variant increasing from 258,900 RMB to 263,900 RMB, representing a 1.93% increase. The price of the long-range edition, all-wheel drive variant with dual motors increased from 299,900 RMB to 304,900 RMB, a 1.67% increase. The price of the performance all-wheel drive variant with dual motors increased from 363,900 RMB to 368,900 RMB, a 1.37% increase. Today's price hike by Tesla contrasts with price cuts by other Chinese EV manufacturers in the ongoing price war. BYD updated some of its models after the Lunar New Year holiday at the end of February, all of which saw significant price reductions. Other automakers, including NIO, Xpeng, Li Auto, Polestar, Netta, and IM Motors are also competing on price in various ways as of this year. Not only has Tesla reduced prices, but it's also decreasing the production value of its current Model Y lineup. Tesla has instructed employees to reduce production of both the Model Y and Model 3 in its Shanghai factory from 6.5 workdays to 5 days. The production lines operate in two shifts, each lasting 11.5 hours a day and remain unchanged. Residents report that production has been cut since the beginning of this month, with no clear indication to employees of when production will return to normal. This suggests an adjustment in the production schedule and may reflect changes in Tesla's strategy. The specific reason behind the production cut remains undisclosed sparking various hypotheses and speculations. One theory suggests that Tesla's move could be a strategic response to heightened competition from local electric car manufacturers in China, potentially dampening the demand for their existing models. Another possibility is that Tesla's gearing up for product updates, possibly in anticipation of introducing a new or enhanced version of the Model Y. If this is the case, it's the Model Y Juniper. Alternatively, the adjustment in production schedules may aim to optimize performance or streamline production costs. Several automakers have previously employed a similar strategy of increasing prices for outgoing models while reducing production ahead of launching a new iteration. In the past, Toyota increased prices of some versions of the Toyota Camry before reducing production to prepare for the launch of a new version or update. Example, in 2017, the selling price of some versions of the Toyota Camry in the U.S. market may have increased by $500 to $1,000. Likewise, before launching a new version, a Honda typically increases prices and reduces the production volume of the current Civic model that will create interest and anticipation for the new version. For example, in 2020, the selling price of some versions of the Honda Civic in the U.S. market increased by a certain amount. Honda has also implemented a similar strategy with the Honda Civic model. Additionally, Ford Mustang, BMW 3 Series, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, etc. They've also had strategies of increasing prices and reducing production of old models before releasing new ones. 
These strategies are often applied to create scarcity and enhance the value of the upcoming new model, while also generating purchasing pressure from consumers. 2. What's brewing at Tesla's Gigafactories for the Model Y Juniper production? In a drone flight we previously mentioned in our video at Giga Berlin, Tesla enthusiast Tobias Lind captured an intriguing prototype sitting in the parking lot alongside Model Ys. To anyone who said that this was not Model Y, here's useful information. The development of the Gen 3 platform is currently underway at Giga Texas. This means we might see the first prototypes being tested and possibly in California before anywhere else. So that the production of Model Y Juniper is likely to be ramped up at other remaining factories like Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin. If the vehicle in the video is indeed a new prototype, it's highly likely to be a Model Y refresh, dubbed Project Juniper. It makes sense for Tesla to be testing a new variant of the Model Y, an electric vehicle that the company has been producing at Giga Berlin. The theory is further supported by a white Model Y speeding past the camera, offering a different angle. You can see that the white Model Y and the prototype covered up don't look significantly different, although the latter appears slightly smaller than another Model Y behind it. Moreover, both Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin are designed to be capable of manufacturing various automobile models on the same production line. This means they can easily adjust the production cost to transition to producing the Model Y Juniper if necessary. Additionally, both factories have experience producing the traditional Model Y. Giga Shanghai has manufactured and delivered Model Ys to the Chinese and Asian markets, while Giga Berlin is gearing up to produce Model Ys for Europe. Their deep understanding of the manufacturing process and technical requirements of the Model Y will be facilitating a smooth transition to producing Model Y Juniper. Furthermore, both factories have flexible and diverse supply chain systems, including local and international automotive material and component suppliers. This allows Tesla to continue producing the Model Y Juniper efficiently without being disrupted by supply issues. Additionally, both Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin are equipped with modern manufacturing technology and automation, including robots and automation systems to optimize the production process. This helps enhance the efficiency and quality of production for the Model Y Juniper. Moreover, both factories adhere to the highest quality standards in the automotive industry. This ensures that manufacturing the Model Y Juniper here will result in reliable final product quality and meet market demands. Scheduled for an official debut in early 2025 in the United States and expected to come with a price tag of over $45,000 for the base version, the Model Y Juniper is poised to shake up the electric vehicle market. With production plans underway at Tesla's Gigafactories in Shanghai, Berlin, and potentially Texas and California, we can expect to see this innovative model hitting the road sooner rather than later. But what do you think about Tesla's strategic moves and the upcoming Model Y Juniper? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Atom Tech to stay on top of all the latest Tesla news and developments.